can we just take a minute to talk about Real Madrid? Yes, I know this is typically a Chelsea Channel Premier League, but we have to talk about this phenomenal run that Real Madrid has been on for the Champions League. Now, if you did not know, they did win La Liga this season. Ancelotti just knows what he's doing with this club. Benzema is very, very close to maybe winning the Ballon d'Or this year. I think there's a few other players, maybe Sadio Mane, even Mohamed Salah are right there with him, depending on who wins the Champions League final. But Real Madrid, it's just almost breathtaking watching this team. Now, as a Chelsea fan, it was very frustrating when we played them and lost to them. But them beating PSG, them coming back to beat Manchester City, it's one of those things that if they go on to beat Liverpool, I would not be upset at all that we lost him as a Chelsea fan because they knocked out so many phenomenal players, so many great teams, and so many very intelligent managers that we've seen time and time again do so well, not only in their own leagues, but in the Champions League. Yes, I know Manchester City has bottled for the last how many years, but still, Real Madrid right now reminds me of a Hydra. It's just one of those teams that just never is technically out. Even yesterday, playing against Manchester City, 90th minute, City was up by two goals with both legs, and somehow Real Madrid dug deep, found two goals in the span of about 90 seconds and therefore went to extra time. Karim Benzema then gets the foul in the box, scores a PK, and Real Madrid are in the final to play Liverpool, which going into this game, I didn't know what was going to happen, but you really have to look at how Manchester City wasted a lot of opportunities, not only in the second leg, but in the first leg as well, because they could have easily easily put out Real Madrid out of their misery in both these legs and somehow were not able to. And Real Madrid, again, I applaud them for not giving up and again, just scoring goals when they needed to because they were down by two goals against PSG. Somehow came back and scored that. They were down two goals to Chelsea in that second leg. Somehow came back again, down two goals again to Real Madrid and somehow came back for a third time. Now, obviously, the final only has one game, which... Liverpool, I think, understand what they need to do to beat Real Madrid. And I think there's a little bit of a chip on their shoulder as well with the last time they played Real Madrid in the final. Ramos injuring Mohamed Salah. I think there's going to be a lot of tension between these two teams. And I think Liverpool are definitely coming out firing on all cylinders. And the team that they have is just so stacked that it, it will be another uphill battle for Real Madrid. But if Karim Benzema, Tony Cruz... Uh, Modric, they, those two guys, three guys can get everything going. I know there's a lot of other players for Real Madrid, but those three guys are really their engines for this team. And they can score goals, create chances. It's going to be a fun final, and I'm really looking forward to this. The final will be May 28th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Depending on where you live, you can check the time zones for that. But this will be just a phenomenal final. I myself, being a Chelsea fan, am more of a neutral, but I don't really want to see Liverpool win since we lost to them in the League Cup. We obviously play them in the FA Cup. So if we can watch them lose to Real Madrid and then we can beat them in the FA Cup and then they most likely lose in the Premier League, I would be a happy fan as a Chelsea fan. So that is all I have for you today. I really enjoyed this match with Real Madrid versus Man City. Kind of comical that Manchester City fumbled again and choked. I feel bad for Pep Guardiola, even though he's already won the Champions League, but it just seems like it's not working out at Manchester City. I'm sure this summer they're going to throw a lot of money at a lot more players, and maybe they'll finally have the right team, but who knows because Champions League is always a difficult task for anyone because you never know what can happen, what teams will just be hitting on all cylinders, and right now that is Real Madrid, and I'm really looking forward to him to beating Liverpool. I'll do another match prediction when we get closer to that match, but right now, I think Liverpool will end up losing this game to Real Madrid 3-1. Kareem Benzema scoring a hat trick. I know that's bold of me to predict and winning the Ballon d'Or this year. So that is all I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. And comment down below what you think about Real Madrid, their chances in the Champions League final, and who you think is going to win. That is it, and I will see you next time.